doing? What's going on? Uh, I want to send a rest in peace out to Vin Scully, uh, one of the greatest broadcasters in all of sports. You know him as a longtime Dodger broadcaster. And he stretched out across football. He called the Joe Montana touchdown pass to the White Clark in the end zone, did golf. But he's best remembered for uh, the Dodgers, especially in Brooklyn. And being laid back, had a cool vibe, but you know, he was very detailed, very meticulous, um, had a very sophisticated way of presenting when he was talking. He called Hank Aaron's rocket breaking 715th home run that, that broke Bay Ruth. He called the Barry Bonds 71 uh, home run. One of them that I remember clearly though is day is back in 88 when he called Kurt Gibson's home run. Cause I still remember that night very well. And it was so surreal. He was the epitome and the heartbeat of, of Dodger blue. And he definitely had an aura and a vibe about him. And you know, a lot of these broadcasters, don't know how to balance and have options, but this guy did. He got the crowds going. He listened. He was very detailed, but he was cool, you know. And a lot, of, a lot of times you don't really like sports personalities who aren't playing. Let me be realistic. A lot of these so-called journalists or analysts or whatever they got on TV are clowns. And a lot of these turkeys, you know, what we call Monday armchair quarterbacks might it might work okay in a bar or something like that, but they're not sophisticated. They don't have the depth. There's always a difference between someone who can articulate and put things in perspective and context, and yet let it all kind of ride and be cool and flow. And Vin Scully was definitely one of those people. So uh, rest in peace, thoughts and prayers with his family. And um, you know, if you watch Dodger games, you watch. You know, his voice was l legendary with it. So, um, rest in peace, thoughts and prayers with his family and friends. And he will be missed. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts and comments. And I do respond, thank you. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for one another. And when you <clears throat> listen or hear something of greatness, it's important to remember it. Because I don't come around that often. He was one of those guys. Right, I'm out.